As anyone who's ever gardened can tell you, it's no easy task going from seed to dining table. Preparing the soil, planting, weeding, harvesting, it's hard work for the most seasoned gardeners. So what in the world would motivate a group of tenderfoot teenagers from Cleveland to put on a pair of overalls, pick up shovels, and begin digging around in the dirt? Well, here's a taste of the Cleveland Botanical Garden's Green Corps program from Idea Stream producer, Dennis Knowles. Day one, it was kind of scary. I was totally clueless. It's real, real hard work. It's very hectic. When I first came here, <laughs> I did not like bugs, worms. Didn't like getting dirty, but it's like, when you're out here, it's like, it seems like a serenity. You know, it's peaceful. It's like, you get to explore more of what's already been here. You know, you see it every day, but you never think, you know, something's interesting or the history behind it and stuff like that. So, I mean, every day you come out here, you learn more about it. You know, you start getting used to it. It's like it becomes a part of you, so. <laughs> the main mission of this, this program is, a, is an educational mission. We have, now we have four gardens in various stages of development. This one, the Yellow House being the oldest one here on 66th, 66th and Chester. And um, we really, number one, we employ students for the summer. All of our students work at least 20 hours a week. It's an opportunity to do something a little bit different, to build community, to interact with each other while they're outside working, to, to experience a different part of the city than they're used to experiencing. Not, be, not to be inside all summer, to actually be outside, to actually be doing something, to grow something, to get their hands, hands dirty and their feet wet. They showed me how to use the tools, how to plant a plant right, um, what is a weed from a plant and the different kind of plants. Then you had to learn the plants, you had to learn the soil, you had to learn um, the worms, what they do, their roles, every, everything has a role. Um, you know, it's not just about gardening, you know, it teaches you skills because, you know, like a lot of my friends and a lot of people in America always think, you know, they're so used to having everything fast paced and right there and, you know, like with plants, you have to sit there and you have to have patience, you have to, you know, nurture it, you know, you have to take care of it, it's not, oh, you just pop it in the soil and it grows. Um, so I tell them, you know, it's an experience, you know. It's different from what a lot of jobs are now in America. And um, new experience. We always want to uh, experience new things. So I think they, they came because, you know, it's a new experience. You know what I'm saying? It's something to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So it's a good topic. You know what I'm saying? The thing that um, a lot of the students really, um, really really gets them in, in invested in the program is the relationships they form especially with with the staff and with each other so some of the students come in come into the summer and they're outside of their uh, well they all come in and they're outside the structures of their regular high school um, classes and clubs and, and things they do so um, coming into this structure they really have a support system so when things happen and things do happen in their lives throughout the summer they really come together and, and help each other each day we learn something new you know, it's not like they just tell um, give us plants and say, oh, here, you do this. You know, you know, you put the plant in the soil, you do this. They don't tell you, you know, okay, well, what type of plant is this? You know, they do that. They educate you. Um, they ask you what you learn. You know, they ask you what your goals is, your aspirations. I was really this quiet person when I came here. And I really thought I wasn't going to be communicating with everyone, but I really did start communicating. That's the most important thing about this job. You have to communicate. My mom played with last night. I was like, um, it's helped me grow education. because uh, <laughs> I like I like the physical work. They might, you know, what I'm saying some might not say it's hard work, but I think it's hard work. But I live for the hard work, so it's it's helped me because in college, you know, what I'm saying there's going to be a lot more hard work. You know, what I'm saying so it's just conditioning me for college. So I, I'm I'm embracing it. You know, what I'm saying not pushing it backwards. I've changed like a lot of my eating habits. Um, I'm experimenting with things and it's good because like when I go shopping with my parents or my friends, I'd be like, oh no, don't eat that, you know, or that's not good, you know, get this one and stuff like that. And they'd be like, well, how do you know this? I'm like, I work at a garden, you know, so I'm able to tell them that um, I'm able like to introduce them to new stuff. You want 
work here and don't um, be enlightened about um, your diet and the way that you should live because um, they do tell us things that we didn't know when we first got here. Like, um, I was candy, you know what I'm saying? I loved candy, you know what I'm saying? Now it's more vegetables. I love vegetables because I know that they're, they're, they're the best thing for me. And, you know what I'm saying, if I want to be strong in the future, I have to eat my vegetables because they are the thing that helps me grow because they grow just like me. Every week on Friday, a group of, um, group of us get together and we harvest everything that's ready. We put it in coolers or in some water if it need to be in water, and we take it to our basement and keep it there overnight. And in the morning, we all take it out and go to the farmer's market at Shaker Square, and the people come and buy it. Well, we sell the products. We, we currently are at North Union Farmer's Market in Shaker Square every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 12, to 12 noon. And we're going to be um, joining the, their Cleveland Clinic Market. We'll be there starting the end of July. We have a lot of demands for the product. We have two, two products that we currently produce based on what we grow in the garden. One, the salsa, and the other one, the blackberry vinaigrette. It's been good because after the people are, you know what I'm saying, hesitant at first. Oh, you know, what are you standing for? You know, and then after you tell them, you know what I'm saying, like, okay, so this is organic, this is fresh, you know, this is, you know, I, I might want to take this, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's been cool because, you know what I'm saying, once you, once you tell them what you stand for, they, they able to support you. So you get a lot of sales after that, you know what I'm saying? I think that surprises a lot of students when they get to market and, and, and see people come up and they're so glad that we're there and, and that we have something like um, arugula that the student never thought had any value because they've never eaten it and they see someone and they're so excited that we have that product that week. It's really valuable for them to see their, their work be valued by, by the customers that come in. I think we're a huge success if, if each student comes away better able to um, better able to have a healthy life in a lot of different ways. If each student can just leave able to manage their life in a, in a healthier way, I think it's a huge, huge success. To learn more about the Green Corps program at the Cleveland Botanical Garden, log on to the Applause website at wviz.org or call CBG at 216-721-1600.